What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrina1, your host, and welcome back to more Splinter Cell. We are finally doing it. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory Co-op. I am so excited to finally bring you this. And, of course, I've got one of my good friends here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, everybody? It's me again, Steven, a.k.a. SC Ghost Ninja, and I'm excited to do Chaos Theory here with Center Strain, and I uh, hope this will stop people from bitching all the time. And it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so obviously this has been one of the most requested things on my channel um, for a very, very long time. Uh, I, I have never done co-op Splinter Cell Chaos Theory on the channel before, so I'm really, really excited for this. It, it does take a little bit of time to actually get it to work, what you got to do and things like that. You got to use Tungle. There's a lot of different hoops you got to jump through. This is the PC version, but uh, we're giving it a shot, and we're going to do the best that we can. We're still trying to figure out the controls. This game is an older game and just doesn't work well in modern terms. So there are going to be glitches, there are going to be little things that might not work, things like that, but we're going to do our best to make it a complete experience. So this yeah, first... and I'm using a mouse and keyboard for the first time in my entire life on a video game, so yes. I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, this is going to be very, very fun and hilarious at the same time. Uh, of course, we're going to be doing this on Expert, uh, trying to achieve the 100% uh, statistic rating on that, of course. So we're going to go ahead and do the first mission up, which is training. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a lot of likes, a lot of comments, and let us know that you guys are excited for this, as we are. And, of course, what is your favorite multiplayer experience for any Splinter Cell? Do you prefer the Versus mode from Chaos Theory, Pandora Tomorrow? Do you prefer the Co-op mode from Chaos Theory or Blacklist? What's your favorite multiplayer aspect of the Splinter Cell series. And with that being said, it's go time. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Training information. Co-op moves are always initiated by one agent, completed by the other, and then performed. So here we are in the game. Now there's a lot of lighting issues that happen glitches wise. So you have to press that in order to get the, the light to come back on. It's really weird, but you're going to notice there's going to be a lot of glitches and stuff that have to do with lighting in this. To initiate a short, short scale, one agent must crouch and position himself facing away from a wall, under a ledge or under a pipe, and press the co-op move key. Alright, so everything has an uh, interaction with it. Uh, to do co-op moves, you have to you. press specific uh, buttons. To complete a short scale, the other agent must approach a wall and first press the co-op move key. This will perform the move. When a move has been initiated, the co-op move icon will appear on the screen to inform you there is an action to be completed. To cancel the co-op move, simply press the co-op move key again. I'm really happy you know how to read. <laughs> well, you know, I've been working on it since I was a kid. Well, like, when I was a kid, like, and we'd have to read in class, uh, and I'd have to listen to the other kids that couldn't read, and they'd be like, they. Huh, huh, that's huh. that's fascinating. The the tr great story. Uh, really, lots of heart and emotion. <laughs> it, was, it was horrible. To initiate the share equipment move, stand next to the other agent and interact. To complete the share equipment move, the other agent must interact. This will perform the move and transfer the selected inventory item. So pretty much what that means is you can uh, share equipment. Wow. Man, I just explained that really good. Let's get this done. We already did that one. All right, go ahead and stand in front of the door just uh, to be ready to uh, enter the door there real quick. Let me know when you're ready. On that one. Right, hold on. Shh, be quiet. Ready? Not yet. Okay, I'm ready. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm down! <laughs> okay, he didn't know about that, so I totally got him, got him by surprise there. Um, if one agent goes down, the other can get close to him and heal him by pressing interact. Each agent carries one adrenaline boost, so the revive move can only be performed twice per mission. I had a feeling you were going to do that. I bet you did. Oh, the music kicks up. I know, I like that, yeah. Alright, so again, just like all the other ones, you have like optic cables so you can like look underneath. But as you can tell, it's a blank, oh, dark screen. Cool. Look, hold on. I have a thing on my screen that says accept view sharing. So when you're looking with the optic cable, yes. I can actually see it too. Exactly. But the problem is the lighting issue is glitched. 
so you, you can't see underneath it, <laughs> which kind of sucks, but... To temporarily deactivate electronic devices, equip your secondary weapon and press and hold the right mouse button. The device will stay disabled when you are targeting it, until the charge of the jammer runs out, or until you move. Alright, so press control and left to go to the pistol. I am going to use my electronic jammer, and he is going to make his way across the room without being seen. Are you ready? Just about. Okay, I'm ready. In three, two, one. All set. All right. Now let me uh, get my pistol out here. A good stealth master always shuts doors behind him. Remember, we're still getting used to the controls here, so it does take a little while, but by the time we get to the first, second mission, we should be completely up to standards. All right, one, two, three. No. <laughs> Is it that hard to look at the camera and hold down the right mouse button? Kind of. One, two, three. No. Jesus. You got, you got to get close enough, but still in the dark. Remember, you have your stealth meter on the right side. It'll let you know if you're still in the dark or not. I think we're ready. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. He has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, see, you're really far back. You don't need to be that far back. See this, like, darkness right here? Yeah. If you look, your meter is all the way at the bottom when you're there, so you're always in stealth mode. All right, all right. this is one of the coolest moves here. Get ready to blow me. Yeah. So to initiate the Tomo Neje move and throw the other agent, face the other agent in a standing position and press the co-op move key. Once in position, move the mouse to position the target. That's a lot of positions in this very, very short paragraph. I think that word is Tomoe Nage. Tomoe Nage, is that what it is, Mr. Expert? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. Come over here. I'm all set. Show us your moves. Just hit the F button. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Remember, I'm still getting used to mouse. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I think, okay, there's this thing up here, the replay tips. That's not it, but that's okay. I know, I just want to put that so Because I, I missed it last time, so that might have been... Okay. There we go. Now I can move across. And he's going to get up against there. We got to do another co op move. Over here. While hanging from a ledger pipe, the agent can press the co op move key to initiate the climb on a teammate move. The other agent can complete the climb on the teammate by standing beneath him and pressing the co op move key. This will perform the move. That's right, climb me. Climb me like I'm one of your French girls. To initiate an inverted descent, the first agent has to position himself near the hole and interact. That'll be you. So just get near the hole. There you go. To complete an inverted descent, the other agent has to position himself facing... And I already did that one. Shit. <laughs> Waiting for you here. That's the Kill wrong that button. <laughs> While in an inverted descent, the top agent can raise or lower the partner by pressing the mouse buttons. The agent on the rope can give can can get cover by pressing the right mouse button. While hanging in an inverted descent, you can perform different actions using interact. You can access computers, grab guards, and also use secondary weapons. So what I need to do it's pressed down, and that will lower him. He's going to check out this computer, and he's going to deactivate the laser grid. And when he is done, I'm going to bring him back up. This is Mission Impossible type quality work here, ladies and gents. That is so cool. 
It is, it really is, yeah. Let me just make sure that this one here... Okay. Sometimes you won't get 100% unless you hit these buttons, so I just wanted to make sure. You can hit uh, space. Oh, I think what we forgot to do last time was the med kit. No, we did the... Didn't we? We did the med... Oh, maybe you're right, yeah. yeah that was only in the first one. Yeah. All right, so we've got a, uh, a double hacking here. To pass through a door that is locked with two retinal scanners, each agent must simultaneously use a guard on one of the retinal scanners. If either one of the agents is unable to find a guard, then one or both of the scanners will need to be hacked. This is dangerous. Let me know when you're ready. And go. What the? Got mine? Nice, good job. Using a microphone in the co-op mode can give you a direct impact in your session. If you speak loud, you will be detected by the guards around you. However, we do not have microphones hooked up to the game, so therefore this option will not hinder us whatsoever. We are actually te uh, speaking through Discord, so that way you guys can hear us nice and clear. If you don't use a microphone, use the chat interface to communicate with your partner. Now this is something you can do by pressing T. All right, so we've got some more partner actions coming up here. Good job. See, a good, stealthy uh, secret agent Steve always shuts the door. If only my name was Bob, this would be perfect. Come on. Let's move. All right, so what I need to do in this situation is head over here. We're going to climb this pipe. Now, remember, guys, because of the lighting situation, it might be really dark for you guys to see some of this stuff. So I do apologize for that. It's not my intention, but sometimes the game just does not load the lighting correctly. To initiate a dual repel, one agent must interact with the dual repelling zone. Get over here and let's get moving. To complete a dual repel, approach the rope or the other agent and interact. This will perform the move. So what I need to do is when he's ready, the agent at the top right can move from side to side by pressing left or right uh, mouse button. I don't know why it says mouse button. It's actually W, A, S, or D. Yeah, you can use the mouse button. The agent on the rope can move up or down by using uh, and use his weapon normally. Oh yeah, you can. Wow. But I would just prefer to use uh, A and D. So I gotta move to the right here because there's a uh, some there's an area that will block him if I don't. And now he can climb. I love the animations here. They're so realistic. Perfect. All right. Uh, I think we already we already did that one, so we don't need to do it again. And this is the last and final section here. Wow, you need you need more, huh? Gosh. I just want to do it just in case, you know, get make sure everything is complete. What are you waiting for? That's too far over, you're not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, I see that. So just yeah, you gotta get some somewhere in the middle. I'm ready. Let's get this done. Boom! And there you go, ladies and gents. Trading mission is complete. Again, what you're gonna see in this walkthrough is gonna be one hundred percent stealth. Nice and perfect like you guys expect on the hardest difficulty. But as you can see here, we're learning the controls. I wanted to, to do a nice fresh take on the tutorial level to give you guys kind of a, uh, what it's going to be like. All objectives were completed. So statistics wise, we both got 100% and we took our time. Obviously, you can rush through that if you want, but it doesn't matter. 
all that matters is you get zeros down the line to get that um, and you complete all objectives to get 100% statistics uh, ratings. So do you have any uh, last words to say before we end the video? Uh, not really. I just uh, I, I can't wait to do this whole game. It's going to be so fun. Yes, that is correct. And hopefully everything will work out for us. We'll be able to uh, not have too many glitches. There is a little bit of problem sometimes with the online mode in here because we're playing through Tungle. But we'll do the best that we can to make it as fun and entertaining and uh, um, challenging as well as educational for all of you out there that have never been able to complete or see the co-op mode in Chaos Theory. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you all, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.